in programming you give instruction to the to the computer to do something. So we sh I mean the process of adding there the factor of time whereby it will be telling you maybe turn up after 20 minutes, something of that sort. And also another move is to add, uh, you see, sometimes actually someone can book in your space and never manage to turn up. So mm -hmm. we will be incorporating uh, something like a purchasable tokens whereby if you book on my space, that, uh, that thing will be transferred from, uh, a particular token will be transferred from your wallet to my wallet, but the moment I've served you, it's like I'm releasing you. So that token, it gets transferred back to your wallet. Okay. So it's not really fixed on, let's say, Baba Shop, uh, maybe Salu, not really that. But uh, on the other side, in that we have real-time data tables, the reason I say it's a queue management system, in that also it can be used for booking. Let's say you can actually, maybe on the fa fast food uh, hotels, you can get some, uh, maybe you can book for some. Uh, let's say, I think people do like uh, taking, what do, what do they normally call this, uh, this kind of food? Uh, chips, chips, Chip. fries, fries, fries. Ah, yeah, yeah. So just imagine if you can just go there, maybe book maybe or uh, purchase chips for 150 shillings, then the owner of that space can see Stephanie has purchased something it on the system, it's indicating paid. So it's just a matter of also we shall be introducing the sales management system that mm -hmm. is in progress. Uh, another, let me give you a story. Uh, right. uh, not actually a story, but uh, just I want you to construct a, men a mental model inside your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, just imagine you're traveling, maybe you're going the Nyaururu way, uh, you have actually you have purchased your car, then your car breaks down. What will you really do? You can't call you a mechanic in Nairobi. But with space up, actually, we have a mobile, actually, service can move in there to be mobile. For example, maybe your car is already broken down. What you can do, you can actually go to space up, such a mechanic. Uh, maybe you'll find a good one, a good one maybe in the range of one kilometer in that we have the geolocator. Geolocator, you can filter spaces using distance. For example, you search mechanic, then filter with, the, with distance starting from uh, 200 meters. If you miss in 200 meters, you can scale up to 500 meters. Uh, one kilometer and so on. So, so let's uh, say... Mm -hmm. yes. Is it the same technology that's being used by um, the taxi hailing apps, the, you know, when you order for Uber, Bowls, whatever it is that you use, you know, the ones that... Sell, they bring to you the, the ones that are nearest. If they're not near, then, you know, we'll bring one who's far but the closest to you, right? Uh, okay, I will say that way, but mm -hmm. for them mostly I think uh, they normally integrate it directly from uh, Google Maps. But in oh this okay. one, you, it's a realistic thing. If you are seated here, I think uh, you're you can approximate uh, a radius of 200 meters uh, from this area. Mm -hmm. I don't think if you can, uh, on Uber, I don't think there is uh, something like distance filters. Okay. You will never come across. I wish I could show you my phone, but... Uh, because I actually have the application here on my phone. So you start mm. with filtering. Maybe you have filter mechanic or you have filter barber shop or mm -hmm. uh, maybe you have such a, maybe, maybe even you wanted a clinic. Then you filter with distance. Maybe you get one in one kilometer. Uh, what you can go, you can go ahead and uh, when the moment there is an icon for location at the top right where if you click that, l that location icon, it will lead you to it will locate that person or that service you're looking for. In that, if we say, like, uh, we are just basing on radius, you can't know, like, a circle has many directions. It can be this way, it can be this way. So, actually, that's the reason whereby Google Maps come in. And also, we have the, I can say, the real-time charts, whereby you can actually text that person on real-time. Uh, there is an incorporated, uh, incorporated messages we're using uh, Firebase messaging and Firebase messaging algorithm, I can say that. Right. Um, so it's real time um, chatting. Message, yeah, messaging. yeah. It's also it also has the chatting the chatting side. So okay. I think uh, now you are getting you are getting into what space uh, space up does. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. Then mm -hmm. uh, coming when maybe you are posting your service, maybe you are an uh, addresser or maybe also you are running a taxi. In that we are also. Beside mm -hmm. you can post your, sp when you're posting your service, you can post it as a stationary or a mobile service. So for a stationary service, we can say, for example, is an apartment. We really have a problem in Juja whereby maybe the, f the day I was looking for a place that uh, maybe I can relocate to, I really had to walk uh, through the vast area for around two days. Yeah. That is when I found uh, the, perfect, uh, the perfect one or the space which fit my desire. Uh -huh. But just imagine if our space up was already there, the service providers are selling their houses there, and then the consumers are just going there to find them. I could have just searched on space up apartment, put uh, maybe I want an apartment for 6,000 shillings, uh, that's a bit sitter. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be shocked. <laughs>
I know, I know. Yeah, 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 sure, um, sure, sure. So, so I could have just such maybe I could have just such an uh, semi let's say a bed sitter or one bedroom then filter distance maybe within 200 meters I miss I go to 500 meters I miss then maybe I find one in three kilometers uh -huh. uh, then I could use the, the moment I click on the chat on the icon for location it will launch that uh, the direction or at the area which that place is located and from there when I'm searching it it will actually throw me an op an, an a quite a number of options of the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So we have the mob, the mobile spaces. We have the on the other side. We have the what I can say. We have the stationary ones. So okay. for mobile, uh, people maybe like uh, the taxi, the Rudy guys. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. when I send Rudy, I mean uh, the motorbike. Yeah. Uh, sure, sure. They can opt in. In that there is quite a big difference between us and maybe the the other companies. For example, Uber. For Uber, mm -hmm. I think you are charged twenty five percent commission for each and every single ride you offer. Okay. Ah, yeah, it's, it's that way. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. But on this one, actually, Space Up doesn't have um, a lot of customization. So, mm -hmm. for if I really have a motorbike and maybe some people on Juja are using the application, I can actually just post uh, my uh, my business there. Maybe service. I'm just giving rides to people. Anyone maybe searching for a motorcycle within Juja can just filter the distance, then uh, maybe get me there, hit my DM through the real time chart, something of that sort. Okay. So I think I've really explained on that. Uh, I've expounded on that area of uh, the stationary and uh, mobile spaces. So that's uh, the home page. Okay. Yeah, so sure. <coughs> We've gotten so many things from from your app. So uh, one. That, that's just, uh, I think we are doing now, we are doing around, uh, I can say 0 0.4. That's around uh, a quarter of the application. Wow. Oh, 0 0.25. So yeah, sure. 0 0.25 is, is <laughs> a yeah. quarter. So there's a lot. Um, so you can b actually book if, you know, just to say all that you've said, to summarize, you can, I it's as easy as booking your hairdresser and uh, queuing online, I you know. I want to say, okay, uh -huh. not, I'm not a dictator, but I would really love you could say, yeah, uh -huh. you can book a service. In that if uh -huh. we go direct, like uh, saying maybe you are booking in uh, your hairdresser, the other services, maybe for example, uh, Mm -hmm. Back there at home, sometimes we have only one clinic, people are really flooded there. So, yeah. if because I'm also working on the USSD, whereby you don't really have to have a smartphone to maybe queue in a particular service or do the queuing. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay, yeah, sure. So, just imagine if you can use an application to queue for a clinic, something yeah. of that sort. Yeah, it's really something nice. Uh, me on my side, let's say now I'm, I'm talking like a business owner. I really have a business. Maybe I'm, uh, I'm uh, cooking this uh, this uh, this famous uh, coastal coastal what coastal cuisine, mm -hmm. the biryani. So you know, sometimes you are really cooking. Then uh, maybe you cook around uh, enough dish for 100 people. Then tomorrow maybe or that day only 75 people turn turn up. So actually, you throw away around. Uh, enough for yeah. enough amount for 25 people but with this one if they could book previous day then yeah. you can just confirm so and so has paid so when you're cooking you just know like this yeah. is the exact amount i'm doing mm -hmm. so we are actually cutting on the issues of where you are wasting your time wasting your energy uh, the, the issue of energy comes in whereby you are looking for a service in a vast area mm -hmm. uh, maybe time wasting time uh, may, uh, also money let me give you another context. We have another feature we normal, I call it a status banner. Mm -hmm. There is this issue in school whereby sometimes I really want to see the chairman, but I reach that place that uh, that man is not available. Mm -hmm. I'm told maybe come tomorrow is just checked out. Uh, the l there isn't 20 minutes, but with space up, you can actually confirm maybe that service. Yeah. Have you seen him on TV, <laughs> guys? Uh, we, are, yeah. we know we are live. <laughs> We know you're live, <laughs> relax. Uh, yeah, we, we're talking uh, about uh, space. Uh, 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 I really uh, forgot to put this phone on silent no mode. No pressure, no pressure, uh, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. So so now, um, before we even get to that one, yes. from this one that you have said, yes. uh, you're able to get services, to book for services uh, yeah, at yeah. the comfort of as your As a home. consumer. As a consumer, uh, yes. But on me, on my side, as a service provider, mm -hmm. I can actually manage myself or manage my products in that I'm seeing maybe, I'm actually the first point is selling out my service and products then they say the second point is whereby I can see so and so has booked or so and so has purchased something something of that sort uh -huh. so it's more of a queue management system 
-hmm. you, you shall be queuing, but on my side, I'm also putting my products on a queue yeah. and managing the sales, I can say. Okay, so yeah. it's both ways. Yeah, there's both the ways. The, the side of the salesperson yeah. who's managing it, and then that there's you as a consumer. You are being saved on time, you know. I can imagine as a lady, I think um, I'm relating, and also the hospital queuing, you know, you book an appointment to the doctor, but then there's a, there's a long queue, you know. Uh, uh -huh. So you just know if you're number 10, then you, when uh, they've gotten to number, you know, let's say six, depending on where you are, yeah. then you're able to now uh, come yeah, and not, you know, so it, that saves you time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very convenient. Uh, and it also helps the... Um, the person, the, the the service provider, also just um, have better management, you know, um, and it's it's really nice. And apart from that, you've also mentioned, um, yeah, there's also the the part of it's basically the same thing, but now the stationary and um, mobile, mobile and mobile service. services. Mm -hmm. So. If you're, you know, a Boda rider or if you also have an online shop, I think yeah, you, you yeah. can do I that. Even if, let's say, another example is uh, if you're a plumber mm -hmm. and maybe you want actually to get some customers, a plumber can actually, you can't go to the plumber, plumber comes to your house. Yeah. That is it. So just imagine maybe I'm a plumber, maybe I'm looking for some kind of job. I can mm -hmm. actually post my service there. Mm -hmm. Then someone can just be filtering with distancing. Uh, Raymond is actually very good in fixing pipes. Then I just hit me. I'll be. Then I'll check at his place. Maybe I'm just uh, maybe still checking on or fixing his side. Then I get another another appointment. Maybe turn up, yeah. turn up, do this and this and this and so. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. So there's that, and then now um, also the stationery. If you want a service a breakdown, you know you're new in that town and you need a, a particular service. Uh -huh. You just get into the app, get the mechanic, get whatever you need at that particular point in time. Yeah, you know, sure it's sure. not just limited mm. to to a mechanic, but that's mm. a good example because it happens. It it really does. So th that's amazing. And you're telling us about um, about something else. Ah, you okay, okay. Uh, let me just start by asking you a question. Mm -hmm. uh, how maybe how many followers do you have on Instagram? Wow. Um, how many followers do I have oh, on Instagram? Let's, let's just say uh, you re maybe you have 10,000 still. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, but there is someone like Crazy Kena. Crazy Kena, I'm sure, is doing around 500,000. Yeah. Uh, do you think you can really compete with Crazy Kena for views? Oof. You will hard. never, you will never <laughs> be that, uh, <laughs> will never be on that level. So Maybe actually, what I'm really trying, there is uh, the issue of feeds whereby I've actually integrated the algorithm of uh, location over that of the fan base whereby like for you to see my post maybe you are my follower but mm -hmm. with this one now it's it comes whereby uh, you just have uh, you just alternate uh, you you just alter your settings for example this actually works with location so if i mean let's say juja and there is a particular post that has been your fans to appear in juja alone so anyone in juja will see that uh, that are post uh, depending whether they are online Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we are not really depending on the issue, the algorithm of fan base, but on this side we are depending on location whereby mm -hmm. post will be visible depending with the location. Okay. Uh, sure, sure. So it's location based. Uh, a location algorithm for people to see posts. Okay. So uh -huh. if my target audience, me, if let's say I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, I sell jewelry, and my target location is Kilimani, so I can just make sure that people in Kilimani are the ones that are uh, you, doing you that. are very right you're very right mm -hmm. and actually that will really save you on money maybe for advertising and also raise the probability of you meeting your target niche mm -hmm. <coughs> in that uh, we actually I'm integrating another part whereby you're analyzing the demographic data of the world so from that point I think uh, the cultures or the consumption culture of places do vary depending with their geolo geolocation. Mm -hmm. For example, maybe you'll find uh, maybe the people, actually we can use food as food for example, the people of course I think they normally do the biryanis, then the people from South Reef they do milk, so yeah. you see you can actually with that, from that demo demographic data analysis, mm -hmm. you can actually, you after analyzing that data, you will know where you shall be maybe geolocating or geofencing your post to appear in. Mm -hmm. So you just tell us maybe you want uh, your post to appear in Miami, something of that sort, and we just push it. In that uh, it's, not, it's, a, it's an wor a worldwide web, a worldwide app, 
So if you tell us maybe you really want to day in Napoli or uh, Adelaide, Australia, we shall do that for you. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. If I only post in Denmark, well, uh, Denmark really it is. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. quite interesting. This is very nice. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you wanted to I think you maybe look I'm, like you I'm to talking say too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're really excited. I love you're so excited about, you know, telling us about your, you, you know, your application. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a good thing. So let me not cut you short before you lose that trail of thought. Oh, so I go ahead. Uh, yeah. uh, also, let me let me also ask you another question, or maybe maybe just a statement. Maybe for example, today you want uh, mm -hmm. maybe the I think Y two five four is a family of KBC. Yeah. Uh, okay, so maybe KBC really want uh, to hire some someone for the desk, or let's say some someone really good in producing or fi shooting videos. Mm -hmm. So which channel normally do you use to get uh, maybe the best uh, applicant for that job? Uh, it for advertising. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. On social media, webs, our websites mostly. A website. Yeah. So I think, uh, but uh, uh, coming on that area of the website, I'm sure you are not reaching maybe all the people. There is maybe some best people you are missing on, and they actually mm -hmm. have very good skills. Uh -huh. So I'm introducing something I call tags. For example. Yeah. Tags, tags. Uh -huh. Yeah, not tags, tags. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, like a tag, the tag, uh -huh. tag. Tag, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So on tags, let's say, for example, there is a software. I'm a software developer. Maybe I'm learning software. So my tag will be software. Then there is a company looking maybe for developers. They will actually use the tag developers. So the moment uh, like they post something with that tag, everyone who uses that tag developer will see that post. And this actually exposes a lot of opportunities for everyone. Mm. Equity is coming in. Okay. Yeah, sure. So they can also post this... People are able to post job adverts in yeah, the application. Sure, sure. All right. So I, I, I see that your app is all inclusive. It's all round. It's, it's, it's just for you, everyone. Everyone, <laughs> really. What can you compare? If you were to compare <coughs> it with um, something that's already in the market, what do you compare it with? Uh, okay. I'll start just uh, by going direct to the common application that already are, are there. Mm -hmm. In that, uh, actually, I believe on the sun there is nothing new. It's just a repetition, and the more things change, the more they remain the same. Yeah. So let me start by uh, Twitter. Twitter, actually, I think uh, they're just doing posts. It's just the similar thing we are doing in that uh, there is just some slight modification of the same in that I'm just introducing something like a geolocator. Mm -hmm. I don't think if you can filter things on Twitter using the geolocator. Yeah, okay. uh, that is it. There is also the other side of the locational algorithm. Although Twitter tries as much as possible to incorporate the the locational algorithm and the the locational algorithm and the fan based algorithm whereby they normally alter those uh, visibility of those posts depending with the followers, uh, mine is much more fixed to the location. Okay. Uh, so that's where difference coming. Also, we have uh, this issue of when you're posting a particular service. You can alter it, maybe you can post it equestationary or uh, something live. Mm -hmm. So we are incorporating or uh, we are partnering with Google Maps. Okay. Yeah, so those are the key partners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So so far you have Google Maps as your partner. Yeah, uh, are you looking We have the Firebase chatting algorithm also uh -huh. incorporated into the application. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, are you looking, you know, for, before we get even back to how the functionality, are you looking to, um, to get funding? You know, for most startups, for most innovators, the problem is usually the funding bit of it and getting partners and getting, you know, people to just support as you, as you build your, you know, your, your business. So how is it for you? Are you, are you looking for people to come in? Okay, all right. Uh, on that question, I'll say really on the business side of it, I really, I'm really looking for funding. In that, actually, there are some groups you are in talks with, but uh, they haven't really come out uh, that clearly. But I'm sure with the time they shall come in, then uh, maybe we shall get some funding. And believe me, I'm sure in the next one year, space will will be something very big. Okay. Uh, sure, sure. Because uh, I mean, Kenya, we we have amazing uh, innovations. Look at where Mpesa is today. Uh, sure. It and is remember crossed uh, borders. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh, uh I think uh, Mpesa was Jacob's innovation. Uh, I think uh, realized back then in 2007, first tested in Thika. Uh -huh. <coughs> yeah, Jake. 
Look at that. Jay quote the home of innovation. Uh, <laughs> you're doing a great, a great job, you uh, know. Yes, and you're just a young person. <laughs> How did... Okay, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> let me let me just uh, go back to functionality first. You know, when you talk about um, giving an option for if y if I want um, uh, a motorbike, can do the yeah. I can get it from the app, right? Uh, yeah. Because the the Nduthi guy has and posted uh, his service there, yeah. so I can get it there. But you know now, how is the security like? You know, other people, the service providers have posted the 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 services there, but for me as a consumer, I want to know that once I get this um, Nduthi guy, I I know I'll get safe. And if something happens, then there's a way that. Uh, I can be tracked or something, you know, it can be reported. Mm -hmm. Or if I go somewhere, if my money in Portia Mahali, you know, I can get a refund from it. You know, these are some of the things in place in place for other applications. How is it for yours? Uh, okay, that's a, r a very good question indeed. Mm -hmm. I can say this is where now my teams come in. Uh, the space up actually that uh, the space up admins I can say that where beside the application there is something we normally call back office or uh, admin super panel. That is whereby you follow up on maybe someone uh, breaking the regulation, something of that sort, uh, maybe someone harassing the other person, something of that sort. And another thing that will come in, we shall have uh, this, uh, we'll add something like ratings, whereby someone really, uh, for you, maybe if uh, a particular border border gives you a good ride, you can really rate him good. So you see when uh, you are fil filtering with distance and maybe searching, you, can, uh, you will automatically pick someone with some uh, good ratings. So that is where the discipline for disciplines comes in. Actually, everyone uh, will really love maybe his or her business to have a good rating. Yeah, yeah okay. And that's, it's a reflection of your uh, customer satisfaction. Mm -hmm. So w you have the security in mind uh, when you're yeah, coming yeah, up Yeah, I really this. have them. All right. Mm -hmm. What about, how, how different is it from... For for e um e e e, e shops or uh, e commerce rather. Ah, okay. How uh, how is it how is it different uh, from what uh, people have on let's say Jumia? Yeah, Jumia, Jumia. Ah, thank you. Uh -huh, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you want something on Jumia, the step. What are the steps? Maybe you're just going there. Yeah. It's just like so you're you chatting with the boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it? I think it's that way. Yeah, you're just yeah. ordering there. Maybe yeah, yeah. maybe you're getting this on your cart. You're just maybe chatting with just an empty space or a bot. Mm -hmm. But this one is actually person to person. We are offering a space for bargaining. In that at, at most it offers uh, maybe the stores. I think you have already jumped to the feature of the stores. Uh -huh. Whereby you have yeah. the in-built stores. Actually the in-built stores was uh, just an extension for services or uh, the business people whereby if they have really a lot of products, maybe I'm selling t-shirts, like, uh, you can't put them on the queue management system. So the, the, need, the need for a store arised. Uh -huh. So let's say I'm selling maybe the shoes I can actually post there. And if I'm in Juja, maybe a classmate of mine, see Raymond is actually selling some really good shoes. shoes uh -huh. He can just go there to, when he click shop, it will launch the real-time charts. I will receive yeah. a notification, maybe I really want these shoes. Then we start bargaining, then we agree, maybe so let's meet together. at the school gate, I'll give you. So we are offering a space for uh, a space mm -hmm. for bargaining and also I, I think it's developing social skills. Okay. Uh, just take in mind maybe you can bargain with Jumia. If it's 2,000 shillings, it's 2,000 shillings. 2,000 plus it delivery uh, on top. So yeah, sure. To then another that. thing, uh, would, you, would you opt in to maybe order potatoes on Jumia? Some, some raw po potatoes for you to cook. I've never tried it. You have never. I don't think even someone will really opt in for the same or some fresh maize. Mm -hmm. So space up as these local stores whereby they are, we are just doing at the grassroots level. And mm -hmm. believe me, I really believe in future, even someone selling a cow in rural areas will opt in for space up. <laughs> <laughs> in that, it's, it's, it's something it's very local. It's me. It's let's say you're my neighbor. Uh -huh. So Stefan, you'll see, hey, Raymond today has uh, maybe has decided maybe I really, I will sell that bull today. It won't be there. So you know, ah, this Raymond, I really know this guy. Maybe we are just uh, there. I'm saying maybe I really want 100,000. They're telling me, no, let's uh, do maybe 90,000. Then another neighbor is saying there, ah, Raymond, I will offer you 200,000. <laughs> uh, so we are really offering a space for for bargaining. Maybe actually, it's just like a live auction. Uh -huh. You see that? Yeah, it's there is uh, really there is there is really a lot of disparity between us. Mm -hmm. mm, sure. So it's very unique, built on 
the local needs we, of we really of care people. about you as a person mm -hmm. yeah sure okay interesting <laughs> quite Thank quite interesting so um there's this other feature that i do think you've mentioned you know for most applications you usually told um i refer refer to a friend but now uh, to get you know uh, or you ask people there's something about the subscription or and the game the game part where you you um you play a game with a friend and then now your friend follows you or something i i'm not sure uh -huh. maybe before answering your question mm -hmm. uh i i uh, i've just realized you have already went ahead of me so let me put some clarity on that issue whereby you can play games to gain followers mm -hmm. mm, someone will really ask me why why play games to gain followers then whatever you're posting on your stories to, to appear on that followers while on the other side you are saying like a uh, post will be appearing depending on the location mm -hmm. okay all right i'll say that uh, the algorithm of location is much more like general if we just say nairobi today is just nairobi okay uh, but on the game side whereby you can actually post your game by first maybe you'll be posting your game it's like you are agreeing to that algorithm then go ahead the moment you've posted your game you can go ahead to start playing other people's game that is the first rule. You have to post your game to play other people's rules, just like agreeing to that algorithm. So how do you mean uh, me posting my game? Uh, it's just something. I just did something in that I didn't want the application to be very wide. We just uh, do something like Sudoku with the color game. So very simple, just for 30 seconds. Mm. If at least one color matches, you gain the owner of that game as your follower. Then whatever you're posting on your stories will be visible to them. So this side is actually for so socializing. But if you go to the feed side, it's actually business oriented okay mm -hmm. but on this game side whereby you are posting stories to be visible to your followers mm -hmm. it's much oriented to socializing okay so uh, there's, the the there's the social bit of it and yeah, then now yeah, there's yeah. the business mm -hmm. bit of it mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm still trying to get my my head around me me posting my game yeah for mm -hmm. me to gain okay so now there's Raymond and there's Stephanie yeah. right uh -huh. so you have your game there I play your game I win and then I gain you as my follower automatically. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. All right. What about um? But you, how did you now bring your game to the app? Is it a game that you've developed, or yeah, is it yeah. a game that's Yeah, that is there? just a code written on the application, so it's part of our code base. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure, sure. So, so we really have a, a very, very big code base. It's really frustrating sometimes in that something can break on the other side, then everything is just like setting up on fire. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is this is quite something. So it has games. There's the business side, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot to... And then there is now you. Up. I can say there is the other side for you. For me, me personally, mm -hmm. that is it. Whereby, uh, let's say uh, tomorrow, maybe we will come a plan, maybe you really wanted to do ABCD. Mm -hmm. So you set up maybe your goals and you said you want to do 10 things. Yeah. Then uh, maybe tomorrow in the evening you're book checking, I did this one, this one, and then maybe you find that uh, you managed to achieve five out of ten the application will give you a streak or a percentage let's say maybe your pr productivity is 50 percent mm. so, so we are just pushing at least people so to be productive okay yeah. so you need to be more productive it keeps you accountable yeah yeah accountable right. for uh, for your own deeds your own, de <laughs> <laughs> your own deeds or your own plans yeah. interesting so how did you how did you come up with the name space up Okay, the reason, if you see, it's just a conjunction between space and up. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason for that, we I chose space in that anything is just a space. For a barber shop, it will be a space. For Andudi, it's just a space. For a public office, it's a space. Mm -hmm. For a clinic, it's a space. Uh, yeah, for a market, it will be a space. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, sure. Have you, have you um, onboarded people already? Is uh -huh. your, what I'm trying to ask, is it already functional? Can people, yeah, yeah, have I people signed up for it? You know, are people using it? Oh, okay. Just at uh, the recent, uh, I think the past weekend, I was distributing posters in Juja. In that for my level, you know, with uh, the minimal funding or uh, the minimal funding I have, maybe getting, uh, doing something like a massive marketing is the problem. Mm -hmm. So I just do the simple one. I just print posters, maybe do distribute them within the school, give them to a number of uh, barber shop. But remember on my side also, I have classes. So it's really me with everything on my over my head. <laughs> wow. How do you juggle between <laughs> between all that? You have to be a genius. Uh, just go sure, and do sure, all sure. This. What I can say, there is quite a big difference between the center of gravity for maybe physical things and the mind. 
-hmm. that for the mind is just virtual and f uh, at this point maybe you can uh, you can be this thing the next time you can be this thing be without losing balance okay yeah, so so it's just creating a balance <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah it's just creation <laughs> of balance <laughs> well how did i not try that when i was uh, still in school mm -hmm. and see uh, the the trick is one mm -hmm. you just have to learn maybe to stay awake till around 3 a.m to 4 a.m why mm. stay awake? i think that is the time you, you you will really have the clarity of your mind Wow. Yeah. So okay. actually, most of the innovation I did uh -huh. in that uh, there are still other things in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I can say I normally do them between um, 12 a.m. and 4 a.m. Wow. Yeah, so, so. And then you sleep at 4 a.m. <laughs> and wake up at what time to go to school? Uh, I always struggle. Sometimes I go to school with some swollen eyes. Wow. <laughs> I mean, oh, for you to come up with something, it's it's a real investment. It's you have to a invest it's your been time. A harrowing one and a half years. Say. One and a half years yeah. is the time you've taken to develop this. Do you have a team? Uh, actually, I've worked. I don't really have a team, but sometimes when something really needs some attention, always I have freelancers. Mm. Maybe I get someone. I've actually worked with, uh, I think, uh, at least six, six software engineers. There is Denzel, there is Lawrence, uh, Manuel. Also, we have Osea, we have uh, Jerome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yourself, you're a software engineer as well? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Mm. Wow. Wow. When I grow up. My dreams are valid. <laughs> valid. But here I am interacting with software engineers who uh, have brilliant minds. It's amazing. So so now um the operation, if someone wants to um to use the space up, should they go to Play Store, download it, uh, sign up? What's the process like? It's just uh, very simple. Mm -hmm. Tell uh, us about Spacer it. SpaceUp is just an 11 MB application in that we use the cross platform language. Uh, we normally call it that Flutter. Mm -hmm. So it's just uh, very lightweight. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, you can just go there, get the application on a Google Play Store, mm -hmm. uh, just download it, sign up. Then you will choose if you want a service or you want to sell something. Mm -hmm. So it's just as simple as that. Okay. Is, uh -huh. there, is there a payment? Of course, uh -huh. because, because now. How 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 are you gaining yourself? That is where normally the business side side of it comes in. We yeah. have I really have a, I wish uh, there was a screen I could have shown you my business model, those slides, everything. Well, it maybe we'll do a really next time. Yeah, sure, sure. Next time. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, let's say maybe in future you're planning. Maybe I was telling you this issue whereby Uber are charging maybe 25 percent of your ride. But with Spesa, maybe we can just say for you, in that we don't really do a lot of customization, we can say maybe you shall just be paying 200 shilling for the basic mm -hmm. plan. Then you just be getting customer for the whole month. The next month, you're just renewing something of that sort. For the virtual queue, si the queue management system, in that you're managing yourself. So let's say today you're starting a business mm -hmm. or you, you're, you're already in business. You actually have maybe 100 customers coming then mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you really have to do maybe the spreadsheet, checking who this, uh, this is the amount of money I received, mm -hmm. this is what, this is what. Um, the, the sales management system comes in there. You shall be able to see maybe the total amounts of sales you made. Maybe I made uh, this amount, maybe 10,000, all these people paid. Then you'll also get an access to tomorrow's maybe potential bookings, mm -hmm. something of that sort. So for us, we shall come in on this point whereby the moment we introduce the booking tokens, in that uh, it's something I'll it's we are moving in a, we are moving in a direction whereby some of space up will be a payment system up. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe you shall just be having some gas fees. Maybe when you're booking, you're just uh, taking maybe one shilling. That's not really bad. It's just economical and affordable yeah, for everyone. Yeah, I think one shilling is affordable. Uh, also, we have the advertisement. I think uh, the major thing keeping maybe the largest uh, the largest platform in business is actually the the advertisement. Mm -hmm. Google sure. AdMob is just doing ads, YouTube is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think it's just a uh, reason that they introduce premiums. Okay, mm. right. So Quite let me just say one thing. I think uh, people really love to know the impact of space up on, uh, on, on into the society or onto the society. Yeah, tell us about it. Uh, okay, there is quite, an, quite a very, very big impact in that there is first the issue of uh, time saving. And that you just imagine maybe you're traveling, maybe you are stuck somewhere, then you check uh, at your nearby clinic and find it's closed. Or maybe the service you wanted, maybe there is someone expectant uh, maybe to deliver a baby, then reaching there, maybe a particular tool is not available to be used. Mm -hmm. But with SpaceUp, it's so fast, you have a solution whereby you can just first confirm maybe this thing is available before checking there. Mm -hmm. uh, and this actually 
actually germinated from the e from the context whereby you have this issue. Maybe I really want to take some food at the cafeteria system school and uh, I'm reaching there, the food is not, maybe it's over, something of that sort. But uh, from our real-time tables of data, you can check in maybe this is this or this or that is not available. Mm -hmm. Also, actually, the 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 big move in is that uh, let's say imagine uh, in Kenya, ten hundred thousand people maybe are just queuing in the in one hour. So the physical queues actually waste a lot of time. Yeah. So just imagine qu opting to space up, maybe you are saving 40 minutes. So just imagine 100,000 times 40 minutes. That's 4 million minutes. <laughs> and that is just Kenya alone. Now I want you to extend that uh, <coughs> to international level. Maybe let's us do our motherland Africa. Mm. Uh, that will be uh, quite around a billion minutes. Wow. And now take it to the global stage. Okay. That's trillions of minutes. That's trillions. Uh, very, <laughs> very many. So just <laughs> imagine that time being saved. And maybe, let's say, with the current economical, we can equate time and money. Mm -hmm. So if for that trillion, maybe someone is generating one shilling, that's 40 trillions in maybe one hour. Mm -hmm. So just imagine the, the GDP growth. Wow. That's a really so a big impact. It will really, yeah. Uh, yeah. Imagine, uh, on the other side, just imagine the impact we shall have on business, whereby young people, especially the, <coughs> the university students, who really want to start some business, but they don't have uh, maybe enough uh, funds to maybe to rent a space, mm -hmm. but uh, just they can now sell on space up. Maybe even they don't have those products. They're just uh, talking with the stores outside school, maybe telling them I can get you customers. Then that person is telling them maybe this product is uh, 3,000. Then me, I'm selling them maybe 3,200. The moment uh, <coughs> I already right? connected to the customer, I take the 200 on top. Ah. So that's actually uh, giving ways of making passive income really a lot, a lot. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, that's uh, it's an amazing model business models you have uh, yeah. and it's uh, it's an amazing application you have really explained it you've explained it all we've explained it quite well so now and you've said it's already operational so people can use it as yeah. even you know because before the show started you 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 told me that you have just done an upgrade right uh, yeah just uh, we are now at version 67 version 67 look yeah, at really that every day we're just <laughs> pushing updates <laughs> look at that i mean it's amazing mm. it's amazing really so what 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 final world do you want to tell people especially to innovators who you know who people who have ideas but have given up on them you know they because maybe for one they lack funding and like i need money to get this thing moving or for that one for another reason they don't really believe that it will amount to something though it's a good thing uh okay me me i'll just tell you the naked truth mm -hmm. in that uh there is nothing nothing really like motivation if you maybe today are motivated the next day you're feeling down so don't really base on motivation but just based on your inner energy if maybe you want to start something, just start it as just start it with nothing. You don't have maybe money, the funding to start, but just start. Just do it small. Uh, just do it uh, at small steps. I can say. Wow, yeah. I love that. There's usually a saying that I usually go with. I learned from a mentor. Just start, you know, with trembling, with fear, with anxiety. Just start. No matter what, just start. And I love that. Tell people again. Um, how what to search for when they're searching for the app mm -hmm. and uh, your final words this is your camera uh okay the first thing maybe when you're searching for space up is just simple you go there on play store search a uh, space up you'll find but uh, don't put the blank in between then oh uh, for the ios devices we shall be i think in less than one month we shall be releasing a version to the for the ios devices it will be available on apple play store ah sure sure then uh, actually SpaceUp is just uh, an, a simple application that can be anything. If you are a farmer, you want to sell your produce, just opt in for SpaceUp. If you really want maybe to find some product, uh, products, some services, you can also opt in for SpaceUp. You want for your business maybe to boom or something promoting your business, also choose SpaceUp. SpaceUp is just something that can be anything. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, thank you. It's wow. Space up is something that can be everything. Anything, anything. Can anything. Be it's not everything, but it can be it anything. It can be anything. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Amazing. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming on board uh, and sharing with us. I really appreciate it. You know, about your space up. 
and we wish you the very best as oh, we also plan on onboarding. We need to support our current products like M-Pesa. This is going to be big. So you better download Space Up. Forgive me for my voice. Space Up is the new uh, app linking services and customers. It's a simple everything app. I think I've gotten that from the tagline. But it says it's any it's what? It's Space Up? <laughs> it's just it's an app that can be anything. An app that can you be anything. You can just anything. customize it to fit your needs. All right. So that's it. That's it. Uh, and we've had Raymond Kiprop as our guest taking us through this. Uh, we take a short break and then we'll be back with yet another interesting conversation with Brad Saka. So stick with us.